Alright guys, welcome back to another video, what I eat in a day to stay pretty lean all year round. Going to make this very, very simple so you don't need to be a particularly good cook. You don't need loads of ingredients. I'm going to be putting all the macros and calories up on the screen as will they be in the description. But first things first, a few vitamins that I take every single morning so that is a great place to start. A few vitamins that I take, starting with vitamin D because we massively lack sunlight or sunshine in the UK, so I supplement with vitamin D. Also some vitamin C just because I like to drop it in the water and it tastes fairly nice and it's meant to be good for the immune system. And lastly, just start taking them, it's called ashwagandha. It's meant to boost testosterone levels and it's also meant to help with erectile dysfunction. Not that I need it because everything in that department is working just fine. First meal of the day, some protein oats with some raspberries on top. Very, very simple to make. Sometimes I'll stick it in the fridge the night before, they do taste a little bit better. Sometimes I warm it up, it's down to personal preference. But I'll show you the ingredients that you'll need to use to make this. There's only like four ingredients, so very, very easy to make. A few ingredients you're going to need, I use oat milk, um, obviously your porridge. Some linseed mix, which is pretty good. It just adds a little bit of flavour and gets some essential fats in. Uh, one scoop of whey and then raspberries to personal preference. It's been about three hours since I had my porridge so we are now into meal two which is a egg white omelette with one egg yolk, a cinnamon and raisin bagel and some spinach. Some people will say you need to avoid bread, it's complete rubbish unless you've got gluten intolerance or something like that then yeah I'd avoid bread but remember it's excess calories that will make you fat, not bread, get the bagel in you I'm going to scoff this down, hit some legs, and then I'll come back and show you what meal three is. Mounds may be distracted now, but they have many mouths to feed. spaghetti bolognese very very simple the only difference is I'm using a heck chicken mince 250 grams of mince 100 grams of spaghetti and a Lloyd Grossman no added sugar tomato and basil sauce and it's it's a pretty decent meal I've also got some broccoli but I'm still waiting on it remember timing in the kitchen people is everything I'm gonna eat this I'm not gonna film it because I don't think it'll make great content and I'll see you at meal four. And we are at the last meal of the day, meal number four. So I have a protein yogurt, some dark chocolate, a banana and some berries, 25 grams of lint dark chocolate, uh, one protein yogurt, one banana and a few raspberries. So that's the day wrapped up and if I check my phone we should be around, okay, so we're at 2,710 calories. I aim for 2,700, probably have to go on the treadmill for about three seconds tomorrow. But that gives you an idea of what 2,700 calories looks like in a day. A question I get asked quite often is, do I need to eat every two to three hours? And the answer is no. I used to eat like that. I'd worry if I didn't get protein in for a certain amount of time. The main thing you need to be concerned about is the numbers on the screen at the end of the day. Are you hitting your calories? Are you hitting your macros? And the rest really doesn't matter. The only time I would say you need to prioritize your eating is after a gym session. I probably wouldn't go to the gym and then wait five hours before I eat. Anyway, that brings us to the end of the video. So if you did like A Day in the Life with Jamie Oliver, please give us a like and please subscribe to the channel. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.